Hey everyone, welcome back to another Saturday morning reset. Today we are getting an almost whole house clean, but first we are gonna be starting out in the kitchen. Now I did film cleaning the stove on the day that I did my fall clean and decorate. I just know that not everybody likes a whole bunch of cleaning and the decorating videos, so I'm gonna throw that in here. But I hope you enjoy today's video and if you do, make sure to give it a like. It really helps out my channel. And if you have not seen my fall clean and decorate yet, I will make sure to link it in the description box below or sometime I will link it in this video. That way you guys can go and check it out. Got the stove top clean and now it is a day or two later so we're first gonna start out with getting some coffee because I always have to get a coffee in before we get started cleaning. kitchen isn't too bad we just have a few things that we need to get picked up sometimes this island can just be completely stacked with a bunch of stuff on here luckily today that is not the case this was my favorite candle over the summer and I finished it I typically do not finish candles so I'm hoping they'll come up with a fall one it's just so pretty when you light it up but now we're gonna get on to the dishes and I have the clean dishes I need to get put away and then I have um, some dirty dishes that I need to get put into the dishwasher and some things that I need to wash by hand. Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to this weekend. We have a pretty busy weekend with like kids activities and I have so much cleaning and laundry that I need to get done. I feel like since the kids have been back in school and we have activities almost every night that um, I have gotten behind on my laundry. So I will probably try to add in some laundry motivation in next week's video. Going to clean the sink with some Dawn Power Wash and then we're going to wipe down the countertops. Using this griddle so much lately it's literally been my favorite thing
gonna get the island wiped down and then we'll pretty much be done in the kitchen there's not too much that we need to do in the like on the dining table I just need to wipe it down and then get a few things picked up in the living room and vacuum I got this artwork from Hobby Lobby. I think it's so pretty, but somebody had asked me if I ever get like worried about having like artwork behind the stovetop that they've always been scared to put something back there just because like the burners are, you know, close to it. But I typically like just take it down. I've also had it up there when I'm cooking and nothing has ever happened. But I will remove it. Like I was making hamburgers, so I ended up taking it down because I didn't want grease to splatter all over it. We're gonna vacuum and then we're gonna get into the entryway which I just took all the fall decor that I had kind of left over I'm using an entryway I don't love it but we are gonna be changing things up over there in a little bit probably not until like closer to Christmas time but um, yeah I'm just gonna leave it the way it is I don't love it but it's just something to feel a little bit of fall over there yeah, So here's how I kind of just put everything together. I don't love how it came out and I need to put a picture in the picture frame, but I am the worst. I actually need to go through my boxes and see where I have my pictures at. I have a bunch of pictures printed out, but I did get this uh, pillow from Kirkland's and I really do like it. I feel like it's so cute. I just wish the decor went together a little bit better over here. Now 
we're gonna get into Owen's room, which his room isn't bad at all. I did ask him to clean his room up before I got in here, but I'm gonna take his bedding off. I'm going to wash it. I need to get his furniture wiped down and a vacuum, and then we'll get back in here a little bit later in the day and make his bed. that Owen cleaned his room when he hangs up all of his favorite jerseys here on his dresser. waiting on Owen's bedding to get done we are going to get into the little girl's room which their room is always the worst room they get in here they play they get crazy with the toys especially Sophie she just honestly comes in and dumps everything out so we have a lot of work that we need to get done in here We're gonna get over here by the play kitchen, which is, is one of the favorite places for the little girls to play. They love playing with their play kitchen, especially Sophie, but I need to get it kind of organized. And then these bins, I have some stuff I have to throw in there, but we're gonna get it as organized as we possibly can, but it's not going to be perfect. My cleaning is never perfect. I am here for some cleaning motivation to give it to you guys and um, it's definitely not a professional's way of cleaning. I'm just getting done what I can get done.
got all the toys picked up and now we're gonna get on to making these beds and if you guys have been here for a while you know I spend way too much time making my kids beds had been in here with some Nutella hands so I did need to get the bedding or the bed wiped down. vacuum and then we're going to get into Owen's room again. We're going to make his bed. I love the new sheets that I put on his bed. They're a jersey material. I love the way that they feel and they're like white and black checkered. They're just so cute. I got them for like the Halloween um, fall decor that I was doing for his room but we'll definitely be switching them in and out with his green and white checkered sheets that I got from Target a while back.
to the good days, this to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah. It's like the afternoon time, but I am going to be making some French toast. Um, everybody in my house loved it so much that I'm going to be making it more often. It is the pumpkin French toast and it is hard to find something that all six of us like and I don't have to make anything extra. And I forgot to mention, I didn't make this in my fall video. It's just like making regular French toast, but you add pumpkin and I'm just using the sandwich bread. Um, in the, my last week's video, I did use the brioche bread, I think is how you say it. It was a little bit better, um, but the sandwich bread works also. And then I saw on either TikTok or Instagram where somebody made this with Hawaiian rolls and it looks so good. I'm going to be trying that. While we're waiting for the french toast to finish i am going to make a cup of coffee and in last week's video i pretty much spilt like half of my espresso shot because i just um got these and i'd only used it like one time before and then this one it like ended up overflowing but at least i got most of it into the cup she got the glitter and the fame and I, I just wasn't enough for you. It's a little bit later in the day and we're going to get into Victoria's room. I am just going to make her bed. I did wash her bedding, but she typically keeps up on her room pretty good. So there's just not too much I need to get done in here.
Alright, that is pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation. Thank you so much for being here today and I will see you in the next one. Bye!